I bet you're like me where you rock up to McDonald's drive through and you you know you want it, but you don't know what you want to get, and then it's a big panic, and then you just order like 20 quid's worth of stuff. We've been there, so uh, why don't you use this as a place to help yourself? Lock down that next McDonald's order in the comments below. So you are prepped, my friends. Prepped. Yeah, on the road. Yep, yeah, back again. And I'm happy to say that we are League Two today. And for those that are just stumbled across this video and thinking, what the hell's going on? We're basically working our way up the English football ladder from Tier 10 right to the Premier League. If the team we visit wins, we get promoted. If they draw, we remain in the division. And if they lose and it hasn't happened yet, we get relegated to the tier below. Now, big shout out to Oldham Athletic in the National League for their efforts. They got us to this point. Be sure to go and check out that video. It's a load of rubbish, if I'm being honest. Now, really, full of rubbish. But when I ask you guys where I should head to next, of course, in League 2, it's going to be Wrexham. 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 And did I get tickets? No. Of course not. Hard to get, to be honest. So, looking at the fixtures, what other team can I visit that's going to get us promotion to League 1? We've seen the title. We've seen the fun now. It's name. Mansfield Town. They were founded in 1897. They currently find themselves in League 2. Third, specifically, as they face up to bottom of the league, Forest Green Rovers. They play their football at Field Mill, the one cool stadium for sponsorship purposes, which has a total capacity of 9,186. So let's head up the country. We're heading towards the NAF. However, an hour and a half into this journey. Brilliant. Fantastic. Real tip top. Called off at 4 p.m. I left at 3. Luckily, I had TalkSport on. Otherwise, I'd have driven the whole damn way. So that's that, guys. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Get in there! We're back! And do you think I'd abandoned Mansfield after they let me down last minute? I mean, it's disappointing. Like I said in my tweet, it was only ever going to get colder. Surely this could have been sorted much earlier. Some other response to that, we would have got one for food and drink anyway. Food is terrible from inside the ground. Have I swerved one here? No, I'm going back, aren't I? Back to Mansfield. Well, I'm not going back because I've never been. Going to the place I intended. I just saw some floodlights in the background there. I must point out the weather tonight is atrocious. Not that cold, just raining. As we drive on, I can see a brown sign, and that brown sign means one thing. Oh, Pizza Hut. Been banging on about this for years, but when a pizza truck going to go bust? I'm saying that, I actually fancy a pizza right now. That must be how it works. People question their existence, and then they end up craving it. And thus, transaction is made, meaning money in their bank. But back to that brown sign, it didn't have anything to do with pizza. Right? We went on tangent there, didn't we? It said Mansfield Town Football Club on it, which means we're near. I'm going to park in this car park here. Park in this space in the car park here. Get out of the car, which is in this space, which is in the car park here. Get on the foot to pay for the car that's in its space in this car park here. Well, that says between 3 p.m. and 8 a.m. It's free. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to pay anything. Fully expect a ticket coming through, though. So we're walking. We're walking. We're walking to the football. Behold. Field Mill, aka the one cool stadium for sponsorship purposes. Let me know, Mansfield fans, what do you call this place? I'd call it the Mill. Go down the Mill. As you can see, I'm currently going up the steps to the Mill. Other than believing for every raindrop that falls, a flower grows, I believe that all football grounds should have steps. You know what I mean, didn't you? It feels like you're going somewhere. Wheelchair users heavily disagreeing with me right now. Give some ramps and all. We need ramps and steps of football grounds. So, judging by this parking space, the chairman is not here. And judging by this monstrosity, I feel like my camera might struggle tonight in this rain. You know what I mean? Oh, was that a song snippet? Oh, go on, let's roll the clip again. Guess the song. Easy one for you this week. Ah, uh, so easy. Anyway, there's not actually too much to explore, so should we just go in? Yeah, we're doing it, and for this League 2 fixture, it costs 23 quid. <laughs> Lovely click-click-clickage. As soon as you walk through, you're greeted with light. And that light is home to some of the many pies they've got available. The something that wasn't light was the signage. Not worth filming it. I went for something different today. This is a minted lamb pie. Minted lamb? I love minted lamb. I love pies. That and a bottle of drink that wasn't Dr. Pepper cost me £6.50. Currently at the sauce station. No need for sauce, it's just a place to rest my bottle of drink. Meanwhile, I've tucked in, and I'm gonna let you know how this went down at the end of the video. One star rating? We shall see. Just in front of me, we've got the response team who are not really responding to much. There's not really much to respond to as we head into the ground. No, this is nice. <laughs> Nice to be close to the pitch, isn't it? You can smell the grass, but we're not there. You know my favourite seat, don't you? As far away from things as possible. I'm not quite back row, but back enough to see what I want to see. I'm seeing a very bright digital screen down there. I'm seeing a load of flags. Why are you flags? I'm seeing about... One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. About 24 something fans. Yeah, let's confirm it's Sutton United tonight, who are now bottom. Voice Green actually gave the points since we last tried to come up here. There's Trev and the gang in the control room. There's Jill on photos down there. Oh, she's... she's just take the photo of me. Yes, get in there, Jill. This lot want a photo. Look, you probably get one every week. Smith's so here for the first time. Just let him have one, right? Eddie's Platton's currently in Jamaica, so I don't know who that is in there. But as per usual, we will give a shout out to the groundsman for keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. Oh, there's more groundsmen. They're doing it too. Keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. That's another one. They're really keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. <laughs> And cut. That's cute. The stag has found his doe or hind. What if these two aren't heterosexual? I am offended. I feel like Mansfield needs to take a step back and really look at their image. I mean, we're in 2024 now. We're having these conversations. Said probably quite a lot of people. I'm not offended, by the way. I am happy for the stag and hind to get it on. They're, they're more than welcome. Before we kick off, Lino's looking for holes in the net. Can someone let him know that there's plenty? These little stools the photographers sit on, they're great. Little collapsible ones. They're great when they work. Oh, there you go. At this moment, I feel like I've sat in the wrong place. <laughs> It's much noisier over there. As I sit and regret, I've been told that it's against the law to use pyrotechnics in the stadium. Got it, I'm gonna have to get rid of the firework that's in my pocket. But as you can see, we're pretty much ready to go in this one. Should we do this? Let's do this. <laughs> 
Up the stags. Start to start the game better, and uh, this guy's massive. It's Omar Sawami, and he stands tall at six foot six. As far as a weather update goes, you wouldn't put your dog out in it. Free advertisement for Benson's for beds and carpet right over there. Question time, actually. This week's question. Hang on, wait. <laughs> To confirm, it's 1-0 to Sutton, who are no longer bottom of the league, as it stands. Terrible start from the Stags. It really was and continues to be. Sutton really pressing forward, looking for a second, but that pass is cut out and rolls into the keeper's arms, which is still a name of mine by a pub. Call it the keeper's arms. It is raining bullfrogs. Is it likely to affect the way this game is played tonight? Quite possibly. <laughs> the presser prepped. We've got advertising for advertisements. And then... Oh. Well, not a lot, really. Mansfield. Anyway, they've got a corner. And Maureen sitting next to me. She's going to let us know her thoughts. <laughs> now, my friend who told us about the one-star food also told us about this. The magical sponsorship stand. You've got a business? You want to advertise? This is the place to be. Back in the field. Mansfield, go close. <laughs> then not long after, they're showing a slice of cheese. The rest riled out the crowd as if he's a pantomime villain. <laughs> anyway, after that, handball. Oh, no. We got a little bit of sarcasm, but luckily nothing comes of Sutton's free kick here. We're able to get back to this. Benson's for beds. I jogged my memory about a question I was asked, which was how many pillows do you sleep on at night? Apparently you can tell a lot about a person and how many pillows they sleep on. <laughs> Some context. Mansfield through. Dragged down from behind. Should be off. Nah, just a yellow. <laughs> to be fair, it could be worse. This could be you. But yeah, it's not been great. Give him something to cheer about. Come on. <laughs> Come on, wave your bloody scarf, he's one all. Let's go and grab a second and push up to League One. I need to actually get a photo of the football to football. Then we wait to the second half. I don't want to miss anything else. I weren't always going to be a ref. Try becoming a steward for BA. You know, exit here and here. I didn't pass the test though. I couldn't do the seatbelt bit. <laughs> anyway, something with a free kick. And it's a little bit dangerous. I can't lie. They get the flicks, but no one's there to put it in the back of the net. That's pretty much everything that happened in the first half. <laughs> It's a strange one, Mansfield certainly not acting like third in the table, and Sutton not acting like the bottom. <laughs> Whilst we wait for the second half, there'll be punters out there queuing up for one star pies plus food poisoning. Jill's brought her food from home, I don't actually know what it is, let me let me know what you think that is. Anyway, she's happy for it and I'm well happy for her. Here's Jenny just grabbing her throat of football to football, it won't work though with those nails on. Meanwhile, in the control room with Trev and company, the police have been called, multiple phone calls about the referee's performance I heard. Back to that photo though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get it as they run out, that might be a good one, then I don't miss anything of the game. Oh, they've run out, did I miss it? Absolutely. Absolutely not. I think we'll go with that one, yeah. Sutton have also emerged. What sort of second half are we going to see? Hopefully one with goals. We're going to actually start with a free kick. I must wait for that. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you drop a like on it. Looking for 3,500 likes this time. Up the stairs. <laughs> just reaching out to the goalkeeper union right now. Um, towels. Do you take the same one to every game with you or do you just switch it up? Do let me know. I'm sure we all want to know. The rain has stopped, but the wind has picked up. You can see over there. This one's still intact, but for how long? I've kind of lost count of how many injuries Sutton have got. And again, a lot of criticism for the ref here. Despite them seeking treatment, they did not have to leave the field to come back on. I learned something new today. What's oh, that white bag from Oldham? He's in club colours as well. Could make an appearance for Sutton. I say go round and ask if he can get on, mate. And so it did. He went all the way round to the bench to ask. Across the back of Nigel Clough to join the rest of the Sutton squad. Good luck to him. Hopefully we'll see him back a couple of minutes at the end. But for now, score stays 1-1. Mansfield doing their best to grab a second. But they'll have to do a little bit better than this. <laughs> Yeah, we've got another injury. She's been busy tonight, it's got to be said. It don't look like he can carry on either, so uh, substitution is going to be made, but a uh, bag, nowhere to be seen. Back to the game, and Mansfield continued to create. <laughs> Head on that. Yo! Then they throw on some fresh legs, quite a few fresh legs, to be fair. I've given it a respectable amount of time to do this. The person in front has not shown up. As far as leg room goes, it's still not as bad as Northampton. So plenty of you checked out the photo of the football to football, including Josh Brown, who dared me to put Sauce and Brown into the video. There we go. Love what you're doing. Make sure you reach out. I've got a few questions. Oh, well, Storm Derek or whoever we're on right now is uh, really going in on that advertisement. I didn't think it'll last. The signs are telling. I mean, this corner flag tells you everything you need to know. Definitely not enough girth on that at all. I'm hoping Mansfield could actually just hurry up and score a goal now. Really need that promotion. Yep. Yep. Up the other end, White Bag has got the nod. He's screaming for the short corner, but he's being ignored. Just get in the mixer, mate, and stick your bonts on it. I don't often say, oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. That was lovely. Can you back it up with something decent? No. To be fair, Mansfield are currently having a go at it. Oh, no! And for some, that's enough. Got to beat the rush. Got to get out of here. But listen, I'm confident that we can pull something off. This is, they just seem a little bit shaky. But actually, in the nine minutes of stoppage time, this was the most entertainment that we got. <laughs> 
New balls, please. And just follow that up with a whistle. Well, that was slightly disappointing. A chance to move into second, just one point off of the top. But held by bottom of the table, Sutton United. Should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. We start with, and as per usual, it's atmosphere. Granted, I think I might have sat in the wrong end. No, I did sit in the wrong end. Atmosphere came from the corner there, and they were constant, to be fair. I'm going to give them three stars. Let's talk about the facilities. Yeah, it was all right. Nothing amazing. But then it weren't exactly poor either. It's probably right for this level. The magical sponsor stand was magical, and I like that they didn't go for Oxford United. It was just a little bit in the corner, wasn't it? Millfield's going to get itself three and a half stars. Food and drink. We've all been waiting for it. First of all, did I get food poisoning? No, I didn't. There's a thumbs up there. As for the pie, well, we went for the minted lamb, didn't we? I say, I really like minted lamb. And this was actually really nice when I concentrated on it. But to have it in a pie, I just felt like it, it was a bit strange. But I ate it, and it was still nice. So on that basis, I think we'll go three and a half stars. Could have been four with a bit of Dr. Pepper. Wasn't to be. Finally, we're talking cost. Ticket, food, and drink, all under 30 quid. Can't really complain about that, to be honest. I put a tweet out recently about the cost of tickets. A lot of people chirped in. Let me know the sort of range you pay for a League 2 match. But cost at Mansfield Town, I'm going to go four stars. Which gives the Stags a total score of 14. Decent score, to be fair. Unfortunately, everyone's struggling to hit the heights of Corinthian casuals this season. And so after that one all draw, we remain in League 2. Let me know where you think I should go next. I'm sure we're going to get a lot Wrexham again, but I'll leave it down to you in the comment section below. Before we leave, I can confirm this is not his hair. I promise you. We've got some appreciation from the players to the fans to the fans to the players. And the same for Sutton. Oh, we can count all their fans now. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Again. And by saying that, I know you just said on the road again, which means that's going to be in your head for the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Thanks. See you later. Peace.